Okay, so we have gotten to the point where we're going to add his hand. And from there, I'm just going to extrude out his hand. About like that. And say, okay. And because he's just a little cartoon character, I'm probably going to not do much more than add just a, a thumb and leave this as a little, just a little mitten kind of hand. Okay, so we'll go down here and do the, go to the edge and turn, insert vertex. back to vertex and I'm just going to connect those and connect those that works and then I can actually let's do this I want to remove that edge Oops, sorry. Edge right here. Just right on the edge. Probably should have done this first. Okay. And now I'm going to extrude. I'm sorry, bevel. Out a. Oh, I'm on the bottom. That's why it's put it on the bottom. <laughs> Let's not do that. I have to go back to the top. I did it on the bottom. I forgot I was on the bottom. I wanted to pull out his legs. Let's just do that while we're here. Okay. And we're going to bevel out his legs just like that. See, did that weird thing? I don't want that. I did too far. All right, just you can undo it. That's the great thing about it. You just undo it. Okay, let's try it again. Bubble. I need to. There we go. Make sure there's a foot. Okay, that works. Now we're gonna go back to the top view over here. There we go. And I want to go to edge and select that edge and remove it. And now I'm going to insert uh, vertices for his thumb. one and connect and then select this one and this one and connect and then we'll go back to polygon mode select that and extrude and bevel it out keep saying extrude Get this. Whoop, I forgot to hit OK. Let's try it again. Bevel. Okay. Okay. And now I'm going to go into vertex mode and select the upper ones and move it 
to be more of a more in the th position of a thumb. And I'm gonna move these to be I did that. Well, actually, let's do this. So, like, to me, these should be here. Vertex, remove. There we go. Just like that one. Remove. to make the hand more like a mitten. Um, there's a whole bunch of these on here. Oh, I, that's, I, those are the ones that I did. ones I added, which I shouldn't have. I added them on the bottom. They're still there. Oh, okay. Let's not be selecting the right one. This looks pretty good. actually pretty good. I mean that's it's not far off what what you, what I want to have. Um I like that better. Let's go ahead and um, add our mirror modifier. Copy. Interesting. There we go. It wasn't showing up. Okay. So we're good with that. And there's our cute little character starting to take shape. We do something about his legs, obviously, but. Now you see that line down the middle? It's kind of infuriating. Usually I fix it with a tiny bit of, the problem is it's a little bit of an offset. Let's see if that did it. No, it got worse. Okay, let's go the other direction. Okay, so when it does things like that, you can try smoothing groups and see if that works. And I actually like the look of that, but it didn't for this.
There we go. Looks a little bit better. It's still there slightly, but when we start to work with it and apply materials, it should fade away. If not, I'll show you another trick, but in a different video. Okay, so the next part is to take a quick look all the way around. Do something with the legs. That's obviously not, not what we want. work with the mouth and save and save often Just gonna call him blob looks like a blob okay we will continue in the next video